Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be another soupy day. I don't know if it's very noticeable on the camera. When I got into better lighting, that's when I saw all of the streaks, but also the grays don't match. So I'm gonna repaint this before we even polish it, but we're gonna be restoring the paint mainly on this thing today, as well as continuing the body work that we started. And earlier, actually, we got side skirts for this thing, as well as wheels. And I'm gonna show you what those look like. Check it. My friend David dropped these off earlier. CR Kai style wheels. CR lies. <laughs> now these are 18 by 7.5 and they are wrapped in fresh winter tires. The tires were the main reason why I picked these up. Yeah, another CB day, let's get it. These are the streaks I'm talking about, my guys. Can you tell? And also, the grays don't match. And I bought a different color. Since we're doing the rust restoration on my brother's Civic as well, not as bad as the CD, but still pretty bad. I'm gonna be doing a separate video for this. I ended up getting this, which is a Honda color gray, Arctic silver. So there's a hint of blue in this. You can kind of tell, right? Hopefully this adds that tinge of blue that we're looking for. For now though, we are just gonna continue the body slash bondo work that we started the other day. That is looking pretty freaking good, okay? This is like our fourth, fifth time bondoing down and sanding it down, but damn, that's looking decent. Look at, look at that. Still gotta sand it down, but again, this part right here, practically non-existent. I'm so proud of this corner. There's a little bit of shaving I have to do still, but I marked it with a Sharpie, as you can see, and a little more shaving down here to get it really straight. Show you guys what the other side looks like. Actually, fairly similar. Like, look at that. Still gotta sand it down, but remember what it looked like before? This too. Mm -mm. So, as usual, we got our work cut out for us. Appreciate you guys for taking the time out of your day to be here, for watching this video. If you like hanging out, if you like the vibes, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, yeah, let's get this video started. So I started off by repairing the hood scoop. I had some of the corners broken off, so I figured I'd recreate those back by using my sculpting skills. And while I waited for that to harden, I started spot filling in all of the pinholes that are really hard to see to the naked eye. But the more precise you guys are at this stage, just makes the body much smoother for when we actually paint it. It's actually not bad at all. Now we're just marking off where we need to make any slight adjustments. And on this side, like nothing even happened, guys.
So, we're gonna wait for the paint to completely dry before putting on the clear coat. But in the meantime, we can get started on our side skirts because we gotta paint match these anyway. Luckily for us, it started raining, so I can actually wet sand these out here. These clean up so nice. Buy it. Again, these came off a 2004 Subaru, I think, but they will fit any base model WRX Impreza STI. Uh, from the years 2002 to 2007. I'm not sure about wagons though. The only downside, except to automotive enthusiasts and car people, is for a base model, you actually have to drill the holes yourself. It does fit, it's just from factory, they never came with side skirts. They came with these little dinky, I'll show you, they came with these little dinky things that sit like at the bottom right there. I don't even know what that is, bro. What is that supposed to be for? I thought this was like two broken pieces, but nah, that's actually what they came with. On the SDIs, they actually have uh, like the full version of this that extends over the whole wheel arch, and I'm hoping to get uh, a pair of those for this car. I'm just eBay them for like 80 bucks. I didn't really paint the undersides, but that's cool. No one's ever gonna see that. And I also hit it with three healthy shots of clear coat. Whoa, the sun just came out. That is a perfect paint match, my guys. That's gonna look so good. Okay. We've waited the full 24 hours for the 2K clear to completely dry and even without a polish it's looking really good. So it's like Christmas morning, let's unwrap this thing. I'm particularly impressed with the side mirrors. I don't even think they need polishing. Like you can actually see a reflection real nice on this. Damn. Look. Look at this. That's not hazy at all guys. Look at that. And I thought I kind of screwed up on this side mirror because of the paint here, but clear coat kind of fixed it. Lights out on your favor Too many ways been in your place That's the latest it up plus size, it was on the table. Javin and Vibe, bring the be later. Now, it wouldn't be a Subi build without mud flaps, so I'm gonna throw the rally armors back on. Uh, these actually came with it when the guy sold it to me. Pretty easy install. I just don't wanna set the under these lucid dreams. I'm not just a visionary, it's all making sense to me. Not a basic ain't no ordinary. Alright, maybe you know it's the spacers. <laughs> I feel like it's just a tad bit 
too far out. We're getting that natural negative camber though. Maybe we just need to lower this thing, but they are hub centric spacers. So, I mean, I should be safe on them, but I think two inches is a little too much. <laughs> but look at this. Oh my God. It's like brand new guys. Like, bro, no rust is so lovely. Oh my goodness. Damn! And this side too, guys. I still definitely gotta polish it, but like, remember what this used to look like? God damn! God damn! It's looking good. So I decided to throw on one of the JDM headlights, even though I only have one side, but this will actually obligate me to go out and find the missing side. Now for this I went through four stages, not including the polishing I'm doing right now, and I'm using a headlight lens restore kit by Turtle Wax. Cleans really nice, dude. Looks like the headlight itself is a little bit damaged, but that's okay. The difference, you're basically getting rid of the orange parts, the side markers. In the JDM version, they don't exist, but you obviously still have your turn signal. God I am. crazy couple of days it's been. Now I didn't actually end up installing the side skirts, so we'll save that for another day, but from what it looked like before to now, night and day difference. And it is actually looking like a proper CB again. That's it for this video guys. Hopefully you were able to take something positive or even a little bit of knowledge away from this video. Again guys, this is just the beginning of this thing. So if you guys would do me a huge favor and drop some likes, help us make these videos hit people's recommendeds again, that'd be awesome. From the wholeness of my heart, appreciate y'all for taking the time out of your day to stop by the channel and watching this video. And we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace.